What's Weasel up to? Oh, oh well. He's slicking in the small blind. It's going to make the call in for us. The shortest stack with ace nine Paul. in the big. How much is Paul in for? What a catastrophic one two punch this would be for Devoris, presumably, if he were to find his way to a call in such bad shape. The bounty potential for Mark already has three. Chip leader could be in great shape for at least another one bounty. The Queen Jack of Timo. And Forrest could be in good shape with the Ace Nine a decent amount of the time. Just happens to yeah. have run into top of range of Mark. I mean, Mark's going to go bounty hunting. Here with a lot worse than Ace Nine. Devoris knows it, and nevertheless avoids the Weasel's I burrow. As Adams <laughs> has a three-to-two dog on his hands for his tournament life. Six point one five million chip pot. We play Wheel of Fortune. Burn down, three off the top. A king high board, but a couple of hearts and a couple of sixes. Adams with the flush draw. Two pulls at it, here's the first. Wow. It's king's full, and the curtain is drawn on the Canadian Tim Adams. No sweat on the river. Gonna take the spot. Let's play the math. Oh, Ace wow. Queen, though, this is a hand worthy of clashing two big stacks. I think we're going to be flipping for the chip lead, Randy. I don't see Mark folding a hand this strong from the small. It is obviously the biggest spot of his career. There is Victor, who is going to be forced all in pretty much in the next hand. But there's no guarantee that being forced all in means you're going to bust. So For sure. He needs to take this spot, it feels. And he can co he covers him. He can collect a bounty as well. He's in a position of this hand that just dominates the button shoving range. He's going to go for it. Mark. Biggest flip of his career. Big flip. Reiterated. Big yeah. flip. Apologies for stating the obvious. <laughs> Here we go. Five to come for the chip lead. Whoever, whoever wins this hand will take the chip lead in an ace in the window. Ace Jack 10. Randy, two diamonds. Mark covering the running diamonds. So now Wei Tan drawing to a nine or running straight cards. And with the three of spades rolling off on the turn, is now drawing to a nine and a nine only to stay alive. Whereas Mark is going to regain the chip lead. And he's done it. Jack of diamonds completes the board and handshakes all around. Love to see that from Gen Wei Tan. What if he just opens all the envelopes first and just takes all the top prizes? Everyone would be just so upset. Just like oh, so if he steps up first, I believe. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look. It's not out there. There's more than zero percent chance, and there's a more more than zero percent chance that he wins some more chips here. One million, two kings. Raise one million. Praying for action. Yeah, and there's some rejammable stacks behind Malinowski. Ace four, stack. five bigs. The hand you go with. Has an over to the kings. Has twenty nine percent. Mark. Looking for back-to-back -back eliminations. Just seems like his moment right now. He's just getting these situations. Limitless, by the way, has done so well to ladder and get himself down to four players as the flop comes. Ace high, but note the three clubs on board, Randy. Mark with the king of clubs in hand. Still drawing live. And the 10 of diamonds. 
on the turn, now giving Mark a gut shot to go along with his flush draw still. 29% equity going to the river with one to come. No dice, Randy. Five of hearts. We continue playing four-handed and limitless. <laughs> with the never give up. Spiking the three outer and holding on for dear life on a scary run out. Good morning to those of you only just joining us. This is event number three, the 20k mystery bounty. And getting hit by the deck or what? Although he did lose the king. I was about just to say, hand. I was about to say, yes, he is getting hit by the deck. Oh Two eights, boy. This can easily go in. Mark is expected to raise a very wide range from the cutoff. And Limitless just doubled. So waiting for him doesn't even make that much sense. Why wow, he's going to go for two eights and Mark is in great position to be a massive chip leader. I just can't believe what I'm seeing, Randy. The way this final table has played out. The, the nine-handed stalemate that just seemed to go on forever. The fact that all of these players have held the chip lead at one point. They've all been short stacked at one point. Now queens against eights for 18 million chips. Ace, 10, four, rainbow. No backdoor potential for Daniel. Forrest drawing to two outs twice to stay alive. And in the hunt for his first Triton trophy. Weasel, just one card away from scoring another bounty. Ace of Spades seals the deal for Mark Robothan. Claims bounty number seven and in the process knocking out one of the world's toughest No Limit Hold'em MTT players in Daniel Forrest. Mark Ace of Again, Ace waking up with a monster on the button. One point two. Putting up to one point two million. Do you think the poker gods heard? Oh my word! Victor Chong has woken up with an absolute monster in the big three-handed short stacks. Chip leader opening expected to open. Everything. This is just the ultimate cool, and in such a short amount of time. All in. Go on. Oh, snap. Move all in and oh, yeah. snap call from the ace king of Mark and Randy. I couldn't agree more. It has been an incredibly short stint wow, here in the right. booth <laughs> to go from seven to heads up in well, you're give or take an hour. Them. Yeah, well, I wonder. <laughs> I'm just hanging around queen. <laughs> all day. <laughs> Mark Robofan, just five cards away from having one hand on the trophy. Six, five, four, rainbow. So far, so good for the Twitch streamer. To come into heads up with a 10 to 1 chip lead. Needs to fade. An eight or a three would chop it. Queen would send the pot Victor Chong's way. Mm, Not to be on the nine of diamonds river as we see Victor Chong double tap the table and assist the dealer. Uh, kill everyone. <laughs> feared by many. Jack nine of clubs in the big. For Mark, potentially an open jam spot for Malinowski. Yeah, I think King Nine is definitely worthy of jamming. And action on Mark, who makes the call, Randy, and again finds himself dominated. Wow. And if Malinowski can hold here, it's going to reduce the gap from the nine to one chip deficit that he came in with to less than a two to one chip deficit and we're going to find himself right back in the mix with 23 and change 
and momentum as well. Going to double 66% of the time. Five cards to come. Luca Vivaldi coming over to call the action out on this one. Well, chance never easy. Queen, eight, six, one club. Mark picking up an additional four outs in the form of a gut shot. Backdoor clubs also available. As the ace of diamonds rolls off on the turn. Limitless one card away from being right back in this race. Jack of diamonds. He's done it. On the river for Mark. It's white. 20K. All right. Nine more. White. White it is. 20K again. White again, guys. Another 20K. Very nice, baby. I love gold. gold. <laughs> Tilted. Can you tell it this way or the other way? Yeah, that's good. All right, looks like three zeros. There's the comma, flip. One more zero. Okay, there's the five. So we know that it's either 50 or 250, right? Correct. Could it be? Could it be? Could it be? No, 50,000. <laughs> White one. 20,000, all right. White again. 20,000. White. 30,000. All right. Another white one. Another 20,000. Another white one. And another 20K. He's looking for gold, but he got white again. And another 20,000 for Weasel. $240,000 in total, I believe. To add to the 396K. Well done.